Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. This is episode 145, and today I'm looking at your comments. Just from my video, uh, episode 143, I'm gonna read through as many comments as I can that you guys left about your thoughts on the trailer uh, for Venom, because that's one thing we did um, on the last trailer, the teaser trailer, where I did a video about your responses to it, and I like that. I think it helps grow this community. It shows, you know, um, that we are all together, that we are Venom. You know, this show isn't just about me and my life and my love for Venom, but I like getting other people's interpretations and other people's opinions on stuff. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go through and read some of these comments. I'll get to as many as I can. I don't know if I can get them all, but I'll do what I can because I'm out actually about to leave to go get comics. And also for some reason, my, my phone has only been able to record, you know, like 10 minutes of video at a time uh, lately. I don't know what's going on with that. So, uh, so we're going to do the best we can. Uh, hopefully I can get it up to 15 minutes and we can make a cool 15 minute video here. Uh, but before we get into this, I want to address real quickly the internet. Uh, we'll talk just for about two minutes on the internet and what their response to the trailer is before I get to your comments. Uh, because I don't want to spend a lot of time in it. You guys are more important to me than what the average person on the internet is saying right now. Um, but the big thing is, is I want to focus on the trailer. Um, a lot of people online are saying that it's bad, or not a lot of people I should say. I should say there's websites out there that are trying to paint the picture that this movie and this trailer has mostly hate towards it. I think Nerdist made like two videos on it. One of their videos was called Why the Internet Hates the Venom Movie or something akin to that. And it's like, no, the, the internet doesn't. Uh, based on these numbers that I have here and based on uh, a lot of the responses I saw, uh, no, it doesn't. It, that's not the case. Most of the YouTube trailer reactions I saw were positive and the ones that were negative got flooded with downvotes. I saw this one guy who just said he hated the movie already because it didn't have Spider-Man in it, and he had like 2,000 downvotes and like maybe 800 likes. Um, so uh, so the fans for this are strong, and it has converted a lot of people. And I saw a lot of people going, you know what, I wasn't sure about this movie, now I am. Uh, so there, and then there were people that were like, oh, I had no idea they were making this movie. It's like, where were you two months ago when the teaser came out? Um, but I guess they were like, oh, I thought that was Tom Hardy the movie. I didn't know it was Venom or whatever their, their reason was. But either way, it was, it was cool to see a lot of positive reactions, even in Reddit. Like a lot of people were very positive on the Reddit post that you guys sent me. So I was like, even on Reddit, which I consider to be a pretty toxic environment most of the time, uh, but yeah, so it was cool. So to me, I saw mostly positive uh, on this. And if I saw anything overtly negative, um, I didn't see a lot of positivity go towards to enforce that, uh, really. And so, yeah, so that to me shows that there is strength in this. And that, although not, well, you know, although that people still have criticism on it, even the people who love it, like me, still have criticism on it and still wish things were a little different they still overall like the experience of watching a trailer. And uh, so we will talk about some comments that are made that were uh, opposing opinions, because I like to get those opinions in as well on this show. But I want to just say that the trailer is still trending at number two on YouTube with over 31 and a half million views. And it has almost 1 million likes already, upvotes, almost a million, and only 30,000 dislikes, downvotes, only 30,000. To me, those numbers are insane. That's way better than like Ghostbusters, which was a Sony movie. That one was more closer to even with the likes and dislikes. This one is the good far outweighs the bad. So when these articles like Nerdist and a couple other people are painting this to go like, why is everyone hating on this? It's like, no, just make your, just title your article why we don't like it. And that way you can give your opinion on stuff. And then you could have, you know, people give opposing opinion, opposing opinions and you can debate back and forth or whatever. But no, they painted this picture that the internet hates this trailer. And while there is criticism on it, it doesn't look like it's all hate. There is hate for sure on this trailer. And some people have rational decision, reasons for hating it and some don't. But if you like this trailer, don't let it bum me out. I get people messaging me all the time. Dude, there are people boycotting this movie. There's, it's like, who cares? I'm 36 years old. I deal with brain aneurysms. I had a cancer scare recently. It, trust me, people wanting to boycott this movie is not a big deal. It, who cares? Let them boycott it. Did you like the trailer? That's all that matters. I like the trailer and no one can bring me down from that. Uh, so that's all that matters. And if someone else didn't like it, that's fine. But don't let it ruin your day. If, if you're on the opposite side and you hate that I love this trailer and you're going to downvote my video, then I'm, so, I'm sorry for you. Like, I just feel bad for you uh, that you're just downvoting because I have a different opinion. Um, 
And if you're if you're out there and you like the trailer and you are mad because someone didn't like the trailer, don't take it personally. It's just not a movie for them. It's a movie for us. And I always go back to The Crow. The Crow, to me, when that was coming out, I was so excited for that movie. And nobody else was. Like, nobody was excited for that movie. Uh, even after they heard Brandon Lee passed away, like, there were still critics and people out there that were just like, dumb movie, stupid, dumb action movie, whatever. It doesn't make any sense. And it's like, okay, the movie's not for them. It's for you. And just take pride in knowing that there's something out there that you like. Because there's a lot of bad stuff in the world. So to find something that you actually like, that's a good thing. So anyway, that's my life lesson for the day. I'm going to step off my, my little pedestal there, my little rant, um, and get to what matters most in this video, which is your comments. Um, I'm just going to try to go through as quickly as I can. Frank Castle said that, uh, Frank Castle TP said, Tom Hardy is your daddy. Hashtag we are Venom. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know what? That'd be interesting because he's only like three years older than me. I'm 36 soon. I'll be 36 in a few weeks and he's almost 40. So uh, if he's my dad, then I guess that makes me carnage. Uh, all right, Shadow Boxer says, I love the trailer. Awesome, Shadow Boxer. Uh, David Johnny Crane said he had a nerdgasm, and he's a huge Venom fan and always had faith in the movie. He's uh, even loved the teaser trailer. I'm with you. I like the teaser trailer, too. I thought it was good for setting up the tone of it. Uh, Teal says, I love watching true fans reacting. Best feeling ever, seeing people geek out the same way I did. Hey, thank you, Teal. I appreciate it. Um, do you have a reaction? If you have a Venom reaction, let me know if there's a link. I will, I will check it out for sure. Um, Let's see, RNS, so let's get to some of the descending opinions. We had RNS who said, uh, I could not have had a more opposite reaction to this trailer, LOL, it was awful, but glad you're excited. See, that's awesome. He, he's a cool dude, and he knows that like I'm a total different kind of fanboy than he is. Like I buy into the cheesiness and the goofy stuff sometimes, and uh, like I like uh, uh, Venomverse and and uh, what's the new one, Venomize, that we're gonna, I'm going to go pick up today, the new issue. So be on the lookout for a review of that later. Uh, so he knows, he doesn't feel the same way about those stories that I do, and vice versa. So it's like it's pretty fun. I like this guy a lot. He was nice enough to have me on his show. So make sure you go check him out. I'll put a link to his uh, video down below. Uh, make sure you listen to that episode of his podcast that I was on, and also subscribe to his channel. Uh, but he was not super into this. But I told him maybe we should collaborate in May for Venom's 30th anniversary and talk about it. And so he said he would probably do that with me. Um, <clears throat> And there was a couple other dissenting opinions. I know Demona said she wasn't really sold on the movie, didn't like really the trailer that much. She thought there were some things that were cool, but mostly didn't win her over. So again, you're totally allowed to have those opinions on this channel. I, I hope no one attacks, and so far I have not seen anyone attack anyone that had a different opinion, and I appreciate that greatly. You guys are awesome for you know letting people voice their opinions and stuff without like trousing them. Uh, that is really nice of you, so please keep that up because that's the kind of community I want to build here. Um, I want to be the as much of the exception as you can. I know we're going to get, you know, eventually we're going to get people just hating on stuff and yelling at each other, but I want to try to control that. I don't want anyone to feel excluded on this channel. I'm all about inclusion for everyone to come to this channel and feel like they can talk about something they love. And it's Venom. Like, like I said, I love the character of Death. He's awesome, but the stakes are so low. We are not talking about real world, world problems here. We're just talking about a comic book character that we all love. So there's no reason to just be a-holes to each other. Um, but Demona said that, and there was another guy, I can't find his comment, I was trying to look for it, but uh, he was really nice. He came in, he, his comment was marked as spam, but I approved it immediately because I was like, hey, just because this guy has a different opinion, I don't know why YouTube marked it as spam, uh, maybe because of his account or something, I don't know, but I approved the comment. All he was saying was, hey, I respectfully disagree, liked your video, but I, you know, I wasn't really on board with this, and I, I'm glad that guy commented. So if there's people out there that feel that way, it's okay. It's, it's a safe place uh, so far on this channel. We're only at 1,300 subscribers, so it's, it hasn't gotten like crazy toxic or anything yet. Um, but everyone here is really chill and really cool. So thank you guys for being that way. Um, Dag says, hashtag we are Venom, and he's also going to go buy a lot of Venom merchandise, including a, Venom, a Venomous phone case, which is, I saw a guy on, I think on Instagram, custom making those, so that's pretty cool. Um, a green Lizard Ball says, awesome reaction. Thank you. Lego Deadpool says, I rewound it a thousand times at the two minute, 54 second marker. So I guess that's when Venom's uh, head comes over. I rewound that a couple times too. I watched that eight second clip like a hundred times. Uh, I love that clip. Um, Revert says, uh, this action is just, uh, this reaction is just what I needed to see. So many people don't get it or are determined not to for the dumbest of reasons, in my opinion. But the moment I heard the symbiote speak and then the trailer ending with We Are Venom, I knew I was hooked. As for the voice, I instantly thought it was Tony Todd, the Candyman, but it could also be Tom's voice being modulated, which we found out it is confirmed. Tom Hardy does the voice of the symbiote as well, and it's modulated. Uh, but he does sound like Tony Todd or uh, even, uh, um, who, was that? who else did I say? Uh, Keith, uh, Dave, Keith David. Um, P.S. Sorry for the absent seek. Real life pulled me away for a bit, but I knew I had to be there for your trailer reaction and thoughts. Thanks for coming back. Hopefully everything in the real world is going well with you. Thank you for coming back and making the time to comment on my video. Appreciate it, bud.
Xenozilla Art said, it's nice seeing you so excited. I love the voice for the symbiote. I'm definitely more interested in the movie, though I'm not really sold on the accent that Tom Hardy is going for. There's a little that feels slightly off, but it's just a trailer, so maybe it's just a bit, it'll feel more natural in the movie, in the scenes. And I agree. I think some of those sound bits and the way he talks uh, doesn't, it doesn't work in short bursts, maybe. Maybe it's something you have to hear and kind of lull into and kind of buy into, but, but I agree. I'm not a I don't know why he always has to do voices. I know uh, um, Benicio Del Toro is like that too. And it's like, you don't, I know you want each of your characters to feel distinct and stuff, but if, if you're going to do that, like go be a voice actor, <laughs> you know, uh, if you're going to be an actor, I want to buy into the character in a way to where I'm not thinking about the voice all the time. Like Bane, like uh, the, to me, Bane, the voice of Bane became bigger than the character in the movie. And I didn't appreciate that as a Bane fan. Uh, although I did like Tom Hardy as Bane overall, I just still was like, ah, it, it's, People are talking more about the voice and the, as opposed to the character. And when it becomes like that, then I kind of rail against it a little bit. So I'm with you. A lot of people mention the voice. Um, but in the scenes, like that scene, like the dialogue's very on the nose where he's like, oh, you work for an evil person. It's like, ah, I'm hoping that was just like there in the day and that's just like footage they used to help sell the trailer. But the actual conversation isn't that. He's not on that on the nose. But who knows? I mean, considering some of the screenwriters that are on this movie, I feel like that's probably going to be in the movie <laughs> but hey you know what it's we'll see it when it's you know in action like you said maybe the scene when it plays out it feels more natural i don't know um ash gb says never seen seek so happy before you're the best dude thank you very much i was super happy watching that trailer which is why when people are negative about it it doesn't bring me down because look how much fun i had uh making that video i was just like i was so engaged and so into it um, so, so Jack here says, Jack's uh, sweetest says, this guy is super engaged. <laughs> and it, I wrote back, it's true, I'm a big dork. Uh, yeah, so for those who don't know, I, I had a, a brain aneurysm rupture in 2010. I had to go through a lot, walking and talking and, you know, motor skills, getting everything back. And, uh, and I have trouble sometimes in fantasy situations of separating reality and fantasy. So if you ever see me play a video game like Layers of Fear, which we played not too long ago, I was really immersed and I was freaked out and I was actually sweating profusely uh, playing that game. And it's because sometimes it, the disconnect isn't uh, there for me. I, I, I'm 100% connected. And so, which is why I also don't do a lot of trailer reactions too, is because sometimes I get locked in uh, in just that short amount of time and I feel a bunch of emotions in a short burst and it overwhelms me. Uh, so like, uh, so that trailer, for example, like I took a nap after the Venom trailer. I was like, I need like a 30 minute nap. I'm really tired. Uh, so yeah, so I get really engaged really easily. Uh, Venom Gaming says, I love the scenes with Venom talking to Eddie and obviously the scene with Venom himself. Great trailer overall. I agree to all of those points, Venom Gaming. Thank you for commenting. Uh, Rich says, uh, uh, Rick Hart says, man, your reaction is priceless. Just so hyped as I am. Sheer excitement. We are Venom. And I love the We Are Venom thing. Uh, you know, because of this video, the videos I made over the past few days, we got 5,000 views, almost 5,000 views on my trailer reaction alone, which is, as you can tell by the numbers of my channel, is huge for me. It's really awesome. So thank you guys for sharing it around and getting it out there. Um, but uh, some of the actors from the movie actually follow me now on Instagram, and uh, that blew me away. Some of the actors I gave shout outs to in the last, uh, my trailer breakdown, uh, they were like, hey, thank you very much for shouting us out. And Jared Bankins, one of the actors who already followed us, he tagged some of them and he was like, hey, this guy mentioned you in, the, in his video. And, uh, and, he, and now they're following us on Instagram. So big shout out and love to those guys uh, for doing that. That totally made my day yesterday. Uh, Ariadna was one of the actresses. She was the uh, camera producer for Eddie Brock when he was talking to Riz Ahmed. And she actually, um, you know, wrote me and said, hey, thanks for your video. Great job. Uh, you know, and it, it made my day. It was right before I left for work. So to see that I have now have three or four, I think four actors from the movie um, following me on Instagram is like, I never thought that was going to happen. That's super cool to me. So thank you guys for that. Um, June the Fox uh, is quoting. He says, oh, Eddie, we can do so much. I love that quote. Hopefully that's in the movie. That'd be cool. Um, Brian says, I yes, I was waiting for this. Hope this is connected to MCU, hopefully. So I, I'm not here to squash anyone's dreams. If you hope it's for the MCU, that's fine. But it's clear to me that it is not. That When it said in association with Marvel at the intro, that's a new title card. That's something new they made. Uh, and that's clearly Kevin Feige and Disney saying, hey, look, you can do whatever you want over here. Um, and if you want our opinions on something, you know, that's fine. But you are making your own movie in your own universe. So you can you can put in association with Marvel, but that is not a Marvel movie. And to me, nothing separates this further. That should be the end all right there. Like everyone who out there is still hoping. I'm not trying to crush your dreams, like I said, but that to me is a definitive, this is not an MCU movie. Uh, and that to me almost says Tom Holland isn't in this movie. He might still make a cameo. 
I don't know how they'll do that. I hope it's not cheesy or dumb, but if that happens, whatever, I think that'll cause more confusion than it will give people, you know, something exciting to like. I think most people will be like, oh, well, he showed up, but he wasn't Spider-Man. That was stupid. You know, so I think people are going to complain no matter what. So for me, I would just not put him in the movie. And I think that title card shows that this is not part of the movie universe. But I did like that image someone put out there where Venom's choking uh, Scott Hayes. And he's like, we are Venom. Someone changed it to make it Spider-Man. And they like did Photoshop and, and fixed it and made it look like Spider-Man. Man, and I thought that was a cool image. So that's probably as close as we're going to get to those two meeting, um, I'm thinking. But if it happens in a movie, like we'll all be pleasantly surprised, and that'll be cool. Um, uh, Leo says, uh, this trailer is just awesome, and Venom is my favorite character. I'm so happy he's finally getting justice. Also, good night, and keep up the, the great Venom, spectacular Venom work. Thank you so much for that comment. And uh, who was it that was uh, commented earlier? Uh, Robert said so many people were, you know, didn't get this trailer and just, like, you know, determined not to for dumb reasons. Like I said, I agree. There's some people out there that, they're like, oh, I don't like this trailer because of Spider-Man uh, is, isn't in it. And that guy I saw on his YouTube video had like over a thousand dislikes and like barely 800 likes. So clearly the fans are coming out and like smashing these people who are, you know, not liking it for those kind of reasons. I mean, to me, that's a legitimate criticism. But, but we knew going into this, Spider-Man wasn't going to be involved. So all these people who are like... Well, what do you mean Spider-Man's not in this movie? It's like, well, was he in the first teaser trailer? No. Uh, have you seen any interviews with Tom Hardy and Tom Holland together? No. So it, that should have already been clear. So to to still harp on that is, to me, it, it's, it's starting to get less and less valid. If you don't like the movie because it doesn't have Spider-Man, that's fine. That's that's your opinion. But uh, but this is what we're getting. And, they're, they're, and, if, and people are like, oh, they changed the origin too much. It's like, but they have to. Spider-Man's not in the movie. Uh, but they're also keeping the things that matter most to Venom. Like I said, you know, I've, as a writer and editor, one of the reasons doing this show, rereading the comics, I was looking for what makes him tick. What makes Eddie Brock tick? Can you make a Venom movie without Spider-Man? And then when we started the show, I didn't feel that way. But as we got into it, I felt, oh, well, the only thing you need to make an Eddie Brock movie with, with Venom without Spider-Man is you need him to have his life ruined by someone. He needs to be a journalist. He needs to have his life ruined. And then he has to want revenge for the person who ruined his life. And then he has to meet the symbiote, which is an alien from outer space, who also wants, you know, the same thing, the same kind of revenge. So this movie looks like it's doing exactly that. That is accurate to the essentials of the character. Yes, Spider-Man's not there. But to me, all the elements are there. All the essentials are there to get this character right. Um, so I'm still hopeful for this movie to be good for that reason. Um, Swordsman says, Seek, you're right. I love how Eddie seems to be following more of David's interpretation. I'm so hyped, and the only nitpicks I have is the voice. Sounds too deep for me. Um, and I'll agree uh, for some people who are feeling that way. I always thought the symbiote, when it's not him as Venom, was like more of a whisper, like an inviting kind of devil on your shoulder. Like, hey, man, why don't we go eat their brains? You know, I always took it as that but then when it combined with them then it sounded like dark and grisly and you know like venom um so i think they were just going for consistency they didn't want you to think he had maybe two voices in his head uh, and they probably just stuck with the one which makes sense you know like i said for a movie you want to simplify things uh so it's it's working for me because they went with the growly voice and i like i, I always imagine venom to have that voice um but as far as david michelini again I, I disagree on that too. Like uh, David Michelini never painted Venom as a good person. A lot of people take it to where they were like, oh, he was a redeemable person. He was he was he was a reporter that was misunderstood and he and he got ousted. But really, he was talking to the real Sin Eater because later in a Carnage Axis story, they they reveal that and all this. And to me, again, you have to go when it comes to villains. It's it's comic book writing 101 with and movie writing 101 with villains. You have to do you have to go with their actions and not their words. Bad guys will say anything to make them not look like bad guys because they don't think that they're bad guys. That's why most villains are so good and engaging is because none of them feel like they're the bad guy. Uh, but their actions show that they are. So Venom terrorizing Aunt May, waiting outside her house uh, to, for Peter Parker and threatening her, or you're threatening her to Peter. Uh, hey, I know where your family lives, lives now. I'm going to come after them if you if you don't you know if you don't let me kill you. Um, Mary Jane tormenting her, saying she's you know giving her tra a traumatic event, you know, threatening her and telling her he's going to kill Spider-Man, uh, trying to kill Spider-Man, you know, like, uh, and killing the innocent guard at the vault. All of these things are David Michelini. All of those make Venom a bad guy. Uh, him saying, hey, I was a misunderstood reporter and I was just doing the right thing and then you ruined my life. Him saying that, of course he's going to say that. He's He he thinks he's the good guy. Um, so to me, Venom has never been a good guy. He's always been a, a really bad person. Uh, but there, I never thought 
you know, he couldn't be redeemed. It would just take a lot to redeem him. And I think in the comics he's gotten there. I agree with you because you said that in one of my other videos that you think he's he finally found redemption. And I agree. I think he finally did in the comics, uh, which is why he's so engaging to read now as, as Venom is why I like reading him is because he's a kind of a different person and he is trying to be more of a hero. And I do like that, but you have to go through the bad to get to the good sometimes. And that's how I feel like Eddie journey, Eddie's journey should go. But this movie, they're trying to make him more altruistic, which is fine because I think that's easier for audiences to you know get pulled into the world. They want to like the guy. I think he's still going to have character flaws and still make mistakes, but uh, I think they're going to be forgivable instantly because they want to paint him in a better picture, which is, you know, I'm not 100% on board with, but um, I can buy it because for the sake of the movie, I can buy it. Um, so uh, Craig Hackney says, uh, Tom Hardy is also the voice. We talked about that earlier. Thank you, Craig, for the information. Um, yeah, someone sent me a link too, so we see we got that confirmed. Nightwolf said, I loved everything about this trailer. Awesome. Uh, Night Vision, nice. Thanks you for your comment. Uh, Kune Dragon says, the fact that the symbiote speaks and has a character makes me so happy. There's so much in this trailer to look at, which is true, which is why my, my video was like 52 minutes long breaking down the trailer. There was a lot to go through. Uh, Caden says, man, you're pumping out, uh, the, you're putting work in your content, pumping it out quick. I really enjoy it. Keep up your work. It's amazing. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are digging it. I did sacrifice sleep the night the trailer came out to make that 52 minute video. I had some problems recording that one too. So I'm glad that came out well and uh, and it worked out. <laughs> it was worth the effort, especially getting, you know, all your reactions and everyone watching it. That's a long video to make 52 minutes on YouTube that isn't like a let's play or something like that. So the fact that you guys watch that video means a lot to me. Thank you for doing that. Um, X Gamer says, now this is a reaction, uh, and I re responded, you should see me play Layers of Fear, because I almost crapped my pants playing the game. I was so immersed, uh, so for sure. So thank you for commenting. Um, Andrew Kai says, excited, good trailer. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you liked the trailer. Freezy Beach said, this made my day. Thank you, Freezy. I'm glad you liked my reaction. Um, Draco said, uh, watched the trailer like 10 times or so already, and I can't help but notice the similarity of the trailer to the leak of the plot of the movie that came out. Uh, so I don't know if I, I think I read the, the plot leak, but already, of course, it's out of my head. My my memory uh, doesn't last very long sometimes. And uh, so things, I have to re, you know, remember stuff. I have to reread it over and over and over again. I have to look at a face for a long time to get it in my head. So I forget things. So uh, you'll have to remind me what the plot leaks were. Um, and maybe we'll make a video on that at some point. Uh, that could be interesting, actually, interesting topic to make. So thanks for letting me know that, Draco. I think someone else commented about that too. I just don't think it was on this video. Um, Starfleet says, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Can't sleep. Hopefully you got some sleep, Starfleet. Uh, thanks for watching the video and commenting. Um, Comic Boy says, I'm glad not, I'm not the only one who thought that Psycho Lady was Donna Diego. I'm not sure. That was just my initial reaction was uh, a female lethal jumping out, tackling Eddie Brock made me think of Donna Diego. Um, I don't know if that's true because like I said, I think it might be Melora Walters, uh, but who knows? Who knows what's, what, what happens in that scene? And then he also commented that the voice he wished it was a little higher pitched, which again, we talked about that um, earlier. If the if the voice is separated from him and it's a voice in his head and it's higher pitched, that could be something, but it's supposed to be the demon inside that's kind of like the, the angle they're going for. So I could see why it's a dark voice because when he's bonded, I see that being the dark voice. And when the symbiote's just there on him, it's like a whisper, like a comforting whisper because it's kind of trying to lull him into doing stuff that he maybe doesn't want to do. Uh, that to me is how I always interpreted the, the symbiote. But when it bonds on him, it's like a, you know, it's like a deep, we are venom, you know, kind of voice. Um, so yeah, but that's, a lot of people had that comment. So uh, yeah, we all have our interpretations in our head of what venom sounds like. Taffy says, I love the animated eyes. I can't wait to see expressions Venom will give. I wonder if they decide to go with the spider or not. Yeah, we'll talk about the spider. We might make another video on that. I think I kind of said my point of view on it in my breakdown video, but in case you didn't see that, maybe we'll do something like that. We'll do a video about the costume uh, for sure. Uh, I think someone said Tom Hardy posted a picture of a drawing of Venom with the suit with the spider on him, and they were like, you know, sp spider symbol confirmed. And it's like, uh, I don't know about that. I didn't see the post yet. So I don't know. I'll go look at his Instagram later. Uh, if he did post it, we'll make it, we'll add that to the video we make. Uh, but uh, the animated eyes, yeah, a lot of people were saying the eyes were too small, but in that scene, he was like, squint. you can see the eyes squint, you know, it, even though it cuts to Scott Hazen back, the eyes get smaller because he's squinting and trying to like intimidate him. So I'm wondering if there's other scenes later where he's like seeing Anne and you know, she's like going to die or she's like in peril. Maybe the eyes are big or something like that. So yeah, I think they're doing like the Ven the Deadpool approach where his eyes uh, expand and stuff. Um, um, let's see, uh, 
Danny Boy says he hopes they do a sequel. Uh, I agree. Um, hopefully they do a sequel. Hopefully this movie does well, but it all depends on how this movie does before they go too far. If, at least, if this movie at least does decent, I think we'll at least get one more movie so they can do the Carnage thing, because uh, I really want to see Carnage. And I think a lot of people do. I think the filmmakers do as well. Um, uh, Jose says, dude, that's very good. Damn, first time Sony gets something right, maybe. <laughs> that's true. I mean, that's the thing. I think a lot of us had a low bar for this because of Sony uh, doing it on their own. Um, even though I didn't really like Spider-Man Homecoming, um, and, and I certainly didn't like the two Amazing Spider-Man movies at all, uh, but I, I, I think a lot of us had that. And I'm a big Resident Evil fan, and I think they, even though they made six financially successful movies, um, I thought they pretty much ruined what I think makes Resident Evil special um with their movies even though i love Mila Jovovich and some of the people that were in them i really thought sony kind of dropped the ball on resident evil for me as a fan um so i think we went in with low expectations so the fact that we got a, a pretty decent trailer i think is why a lot of us are so amped up and <laughs> hyped about this movie um will spider says this is a perfect trailer i don't need loads of venom i just need com confirmation that the design looks good and he liked the design so cool me too uh will spider says also new trailer mean new haircut <laughs> uh, is seeks new haircut replacing his old haircut uh yeah i used to do this I, i'm a, i grew up in the 80s i was a big fan of uh mr t actually was one uh, i was a big fan of as a kid i liked his hair and then storm and the x-men uh, when i first started reading x-men she had the mohawk and i really liked that look and so every once in a while i do that um i shave it in work now allows us to have it so now I can keep it but sometimes I'll have it for like two or three days and I don't make any videos in that time and then I shave the rest because I got to go back to work uh, so yeah I've actually had a mohawk a couple times over the past couple months um, I think at least at least once or twice uh, but they didn't last long because I had to you know cut it for work but then I was like oh wait work will allow me to have it I don't know why I keep doing that or I noticed that I cut it wrong that was one time I cut it and it, it was off and I was like ah it looks bad when I gel it and stuff so I ended up cutting it all off so yeah I like to do the haircut but it was coincidence that I did it at the same time the trailer dropped um so yeah, and then Colin asked if the movie is going to be rated PG-13 or R. I think they're going for R, but it could change if they do test screenings and they want it to be PG-13 all of a sudden. They could always change it, but I think they're gearing for R, uh, is what I heard. Uh, Arthur says, great reaction seek. Agree with your points about the trailer. It still doesn't look 100%, but it is only the first trailer. And agreed, you know, you get. it's like some people don't want to give it leeway. They don't want to be like, they want to be like, no, it has to be perfect now. And it's like, how many movies, like when you saw even your first Infinity War trailer had things in it that we were like, ugh. Even the... I I love Black Panther. I thought that movie was great, but dude, there were CG shots in that movie, and that was finished product that looked bad uh, in some of those shots. So it happens. I mean, this is it, it's it, it's hard work to do this stuff, uh, and it's hard work to do it in a time frame and on a schedule uh, and to get it there. And so it's you know I. I having worked in movies and in comics and stuff, I've I've been a little bit more lenient. It's helped me be more lenient on criticism with people. I don't immediately want to just say something sucks um, because I want to always count in the fact that this is not easy to do. Uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm glad you're on board with that and you, you thought same thing. It's not 100% done, the trailer, the, the effects, but they were just giving us the idea of what they were going for and the idea they're going for rocks in my world. Um, Silent J says, I can't wait. I thought Venom looked incredible. I agree. Lane says very eloquently, badass i agree lane this trailer was badass um and then uh i think uncle gaming said alex mercer did it better i didn't know who that was then he mentioned the prototype game i think i have played that game just a long time ago uh so i was like oh okay yeah, i didn't know the character's name and then specter also mentioned prototype and said that this looked very prototype ish so we're going to make a video too uh probably in season two when it starts in a couple weeks uh of of eddie brock and how the suit works in the trailer why it doesn't rip his clothes and all that stuff um and we're gonna we'll talk about i'll mention prototype since you guys brought it up so many times i will include that uh but they were saying that because he doesn't the spider on his chest and the suit just kind of goes out and moves around it looks a lot like the prototype game so i'll have to look into that a little bit more and, and see the comparison there um so thank you specterman and uh and uh, uncle gaming for those comments uh jerry campos says very eloquently we are venom specterman put that in his co comment as well i love that hashtag we are venom uh, i think it's uniting a lot of us over this movie which is cool and then here's the comment I was talking about. I just saw it now. Uh, DJ Donnelly, he's the one who ha it was marked as spam, and I and I approved it because I didn't want it to be spam. I wanted it to be seen on there so you guys can see it. And what I liked is that none of you guys that liked this trailer attacked him. Uh, that's the thing I don't want on this channel. I don't want people shitting on other people just because they have different opinions. If you have a different opinion, just be an adult about it and say, like, hey, I respectfully disagree or whatever. DJ said, I am 
out of the majority here. I thought this trailer sucked. It does not feel like a movie. It seems like a Netflix show. I don't know. It just has that TV show vibe to me. Uh, I am sorry, but the way he said We Are Venom was not intimidating at all. So again, people are totally, I told him, I said, dude, that's okay. You're totally allowed to voice your opinion on here. You don't have to apologize for doing that. Uh, you didn't come in here calling everyone stupid so that you're cool. You're cool with me. So DJ Donnelly, by the way, like your last name, awesome. Uh, but yeah, thank you for, um, for commenting and having a different opinion because this is, we are all Venom. Like that's the hashtag, we are Venom, but we are not a hive mind. We all have different opinions. We will conflict on things. We will have opposing opinions. And I want that on here, but I don't want it to be met with hostility. Uh, that's the big key. And I will probably, the best I can, keep that going on this channel. I will, if comments come in that are poisonous in a way or just hurtful or, or mean, I will uh, I will probably delete it because my my goal here is to be inclusive. I want people of all fandom, of all who like all different versions of Venom, uh, to be able to come in here and talk and not feel like that they're going to get you know shit on. That's not the kind of environment I want. I know it's YouTube, and eventually it's going to get out of my hands and out of my control. But for the time being, I want to try to at least push that. Uh, I want us to all be you know uh, what's it say in Bill and Ted like be excellent to each other or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's a, you know I want more of that. I think uh, that's what makes this so great is that all of you guys have been so awesome. And that's why I want to include you on videos like this. So thank you guys um, for all these comments. I really do appreciate it. I know I missed some. I read, I tried to read all of them, but my phone screwed up. This is like the fourth time I've done the outro. Uh, and I and so I, I skipped ahead just in case this video cuts off. So I, I just want to say thank you for all of you who left comments on this video and the other ones and who support the show. It means a lot to me. And uh, coming up later today, I'm going to go get comics right now. So we're going to do later today, we're going to do reviews of Venomize number four and the Nativity part two. And then we're going to be gearing up for 150th episode next week to end season one of the show. Then I'll take a few days off, maybe a week off, and then we'll come back in the middle of May with season two. So I'm very excited to bring all that to you guys. So thank you very much. Let me know what you think of all this uh, down below and make sure you go to this video, episode 143, and follow each other, find each other's comments, become friends, whatever you got to do. Uh, thank you. And uh, I appreciate, again, the support. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the future. Peace.